are going to watch a band that is apparently called Butthole Surfers. Now, when you guys first suggested I do a reaction to this band, I thought you were taking the piss out of me because I can't believe that's the name of a band. I have a sneaking suspicion that this isn't going to be my usual pop slash musical theater vibe. Legitimate theater, musical theater, stand up, ventriloquism, magic, mime. But um, I'm open minded. Where did they get that name? We'll find out after we listen to the song, which is called Who Was In My Room Last Night? Oh, Jesus. If you're enjoying this journey you have me on, do support the channel by checking out patreon.com slash Diane Jennings or channel membership. I'm losing the run of myself with the name of this band. You can get behind the scenes videos or you can just buy the editor a coffee right here on PayPal. That's a turn of phrase. I only drink the blood of the young. Or we've just released brand new merch and you can have a beer out of one of our beer glasses. Anyway, I'm excited to check out this band. I think I'm back in ma mode with this. Like you're my teenage children. You're like, ma, check out Butthole Surfers. They're really good. just aren't for us. Like, I have liked some heavy metal music before on this channel, but I just, I tried to for a second look away and not engage with the video because it was not, I was not their target demographic with the video. The role of women was the one putting a little box in that video. But I just, I, do you know what it reminds me of like edgelords? Do you know edgelords? 
that's a, that's a thing. Let me get a definition for you. They were trying too hard. In my opinion. And my opinion doesn't mean diddly shit. I'm just a person on the internet, you know? So, an edgelord refers to a person usually on the internet who deliberately posts provocative, exaggerated opinions or displays a dark nihilistic persona aiming to shock or impress others. Do you know what it really reminded me of? Apart from the fact that a lot of the animations looked super like they were in a Red Bull commercial. I don't know which came first, the butthole surfers or Red Bull commercials. After extensive searching, consisting of using ChatGPT and asking one question, we could not find a conclusive answer as to this. But if anyone knows, let us know below in the comments. We super care. It reminds me a lot of like Beavis and Butthead. Oh, were the butthole surfers in Beavis and Butthead? Okay, they seem to be connected. Okay, they were in Beavis and Butthead to America. Let's find out more about the band. Oh, they're from Texas. That's very Texas music, that's They sprinkled LSD on their cornflakes every morning, attested one roadie. You know what, they probably did, they probably had like toast. Anybody who says they're this mad, probably, well they could actually be this mad, I don't know. An independent, uncommercial band that could actually make a living on tour. Well good for them, I love that for sure. There's definitely a market in the teenage boys demographic. So I'm guessing drugs are a huge part of this band. Oh, he was in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and the faculty, Dibby Haynes, the lead singer. That's pretty cool. They have a passionate and dedicated fan base. I'm really sorry if you're a fan of them. I appreciate that we all like different things. <laughs> Just from that song, maybe there are other songs in their repertoire that I would like. I respect your opinion. It's not for me. Oh, that's very sad. Teresa Taylor, who was the Butthole Surfer's drummer, uh, she passed away of lung disease in 2023. That's very sad. Tell me some trivia about the Butthole Surfer's. Chat GPT, let's see if you can come through. We don't have cloud in Europe yet. Well, in this part of Europe. The lead singer met his wife, Teresa Taylor, when he was 15. Oh, is that her? Oh, is this wife? Oh, that's so sad. Butthole surfers are renowned for their bizarre stage antics, which at all times have included scaring their audience, setting equipment on fire, using fake blood, releasing roaches and rats. What a lovely experience. Butthole surfers. There you go. Just not for me. Shout out today to a couple of patrons. Roll up, roll up for the greatest squad in the world. This list of human beings, so we've been told, are a group of people Chewie and I value greatly. They are the squad from Patreon. We thank them so much for everything they do for us, for the channel, and even for, don't tell her, but editor Diane. Shh. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today. See you on the other side.